the CBS Bay Area Studios. This is KPIX 5 News. Some of the most competitive high schools in the Bay Area in the heart of Silicon Valley. But tonight, students tell us there's a dark side and something's got to give. Betty Yu says even the school district realizes there is a problem. Betty, tell us about it. Well, Ken, it isn't an easy thing to talk about for students, for parents, or for teachers, which is why it's all the more remarkable that they all came together tonight here at the district office to talk about the problem. A school official says she's never seen more students show up at a school board meeting. It's been a tough couple of years for students at Gunn High School, particularly for sophomore Martha Cabot. It's time we change something. Seven students have committed suicide since her first day. Lately, I can't bear to have the same thing happen again. Can you imagine that all you know of Palo Alto is that we're that town where kids are victims of suicide? The most recent death happened over the weekend near the boy's home. Even if his death didn't have anything to do with academic stress, I sincerely think that the workload or competition between students could not possibly have made anything easier. It's why many parents and students packed tonight's school board meeting to talk about the culture at the school known for its high test scores and accomplished alumni. It has a wonderful reputation for academic excellence, but uh, there's so much tutoring um, behind the scenes. There's so much focus on nothing but academics that the kids have no other life. Paige Parsons took her daughter out of gun after two and a half years. There was um, too much homework. Um, um, there was a huge amount of pressure amongst friends. Many applauded the school for its suicide prevention efforts, counseling, and support for students. Wherever the pressures come from, we need to try to redefine success as a community. Meaning that instead of making it easier for students to get an A, we need to make it okay for students to receive a C. Well, this isn't the last time the school will be talking about this issue, of course. They have already planned to reach out to parents at another meeting at the beginning of next month so they can all get together, share ideas, and support one another. Ken? Amazing problem that's going on in, in that community and other affluent communities around the country. Just interesting stuff. Betty Yu in Palo Alto. Thank you, Betty.